Hello again everyone, the Snowman here and today I've got another soccer or football instructional video all about the FA Cup. We're going to go over what exactly is the FA Cup, which teams are allowed to participate in it, as well as the format and how the tournament is constructed. So what is the Football Association Challenge Cup or the FA Cup? It's an annual knockout football competition in men's domestic English football, so a yearly event for club teams in England and a few in Wales. Uh, the FA Cup was first played all the way back during the 1871-72 football season makes it the oldest national football competition in the world. So which teams are allowed to participate in the FA Cup, you might ask? Well, the competition is essentially open to any club from level 1 to level 10 in the English Football League system. What do we mean by that? Well, the English Football League system is an organizing pyramid, a series of interconnected leagues for men's football in England and Wales. There's more than 140 individual leagues, and this is a look at the top Top 10 levels, the Premier League at the top, that's the most prestigious league in England, also the most watched sports league in the world. The Premier League is followed by the EFL Championship, League 1, League 2, and so on. So the FA Cup is contested between all teams in the top 10 flights. Clubs in the top four levels are automatically eligible. Uh, meanwhile, clubs in the next six levels are also eligible, provided they have played in either the FA Cup, the FA Trophy, or the FA Vase the following season. Also, newly formed clubs cannot participate in the FA Cup in their inaugural season. Uh, but all in all, with all the different leagues and divisions, the FA Cup is regularly fought for by over 700 clubs. It is a massive competition. As far as the format is concerned, it can be a little tricky to explain, but it is a year-long event, typically begins in August and concludes in May. Now basically it's a knockout tournament consisting of 14 total rounds and these are all the rounds. The key is that a system of buys ensures clubs from higher levels or better leagues an advantage by entering the competition at later stages. So as you can see, the first round, or technically the extra preliminary round, is just clubs from leagues in levels 9 and 10. All those teams will be randomly drawn and paired against another team. Whichever club wins their head-to-head -head matchup will advance then to the preliminary round. Then we have another random draw, except this time we throw in the level 8 team. So all the winners from the extra preliminary round, plus the level 8 clubs, uh, they're all thrown in a giant pot and completely paired up randomly against another team. The winners will advance to the next round. And we keep repeating this same example exact process then with the winner of the uh, the pairings moving on and then adding in teams from better leagues first round second round third round fourth round then we get to competition proper in November so throwing in teams from uh, levels three and four again the better teams they get the buys just like how the, the top two seeds get buys in the NFL playoffs or the latter tournament format in the professional bowling association I like this because uh, this way the best teams are still at a big advantage but the smaller clubs the minnows and the Cinderella stories still have a fighting chance January then the real fun begins as we add in Premier League teams and EFL championship clubs and then from the fourth round on there's no new team so we keep having draws and playing matches until we have one final winner in May. And one important format nuance is that every tie is single elimination so if you lose once you're out however from the fifth round and down so the quarterfinals, semifinals and final as well those ties are all decided on the same day meaning if a quarterfinal game is tied after 90 minutes we'll have extra time and if needed penalties to determine a winner that's not the case for every round prior to the fifth round. Uh, in those rounds, if a game is tied after 90 minutes, they will play a replay in the next week or so. So another 90 minute game, switching which team is at home. And then if that replay is still level after 90 more minutes, we go to extra time and penalties there. A couple of other quick notes then. For the first 12 rounds, whichever team is drawn out first for each fixture, that's the home team. If a replay is necessary, they would play the second game at the other team's home stadium. The semifinals and final are always played at a neutral stadium. Stadium. That neutral ground has been London's uh, Wembley Stadium since 2008. Also, the FA Cup champion will qualify for the following season's Europa League. That's a prestigious European continental competition. And the winner also qualifies for the following season's FA Community Shield. That is a single match. Uh, traditionally, the season opener that pits the reigning FA Cup champs against the defending Premier League champions. And one final thing, the League Cup or the Carabao Cup is not the same thing as the FA Cup. It is another single elimination knockout tournament that takes place throughout the year. The main difference is that we spoke about how the FA Cup is 
for teams in the top 10 levels of the English Football League system, while the League Cup or the EFL Cup is only for teams in the top four levels. So a much smaller field containing only league teams, less prize money on the line. The winner of the League Cup, though, also qualifies for the Europa League the following season, just like the FA Cup champs. All right, so I hope you found this video informational, learned something new about the FA Cup. If you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for more soccer and football content. And uh, thanks a lot. Cheers.